Hi everybody, I'm Stefan for Tuts Plus and today we continue where we left off uh, in our previous tutorial animating the Canon EFS 55-250mm to millimeters lens in Cinema 4D and today we are going to continue and animate the rest scenes of our fake uh, commercial video so let's get started, I've already opened a copy of our previous scene named scene 5 and we are going to reset the settings here and animate the new scene so the first thing that uh, we are going to modify is the camera target we are going to set this to negative 40 and after that we are going to select our circle object and uh, let's go to window timeline and let's select everything and delete all the keyframes because we are not going to need them and we need to select the circle and for the Y position set it to 20 for the first frame and let's set the duration of our timeline to 100 frames for the scene go to the first frame and let's set a keyframe for 20 and let's go to the end of our timeline and set a keyframe 70 for the circle position and let's uh, go to the object tab for the circle go to the first frame of our, of our timeline and set the radius to 210 and set a keyframe go to the end of our timeline and set this to 170 and set a keyframe now we need to go to our first frame select our lens object and let's go to coordinates for it and let's set the Y position to negative 89 and let's set this to 15 let's set this to 0 and let's set this to negative 180 and as you can see this is how it looks like and let's uh, select it again and we need to set a keyframe for the rotation here and let's go to the end of our timeline and let's set this to negative 15 and set a keyframe and if we play back the animation you can see how it looks like uh, but we don't want to see the cap of the lens so let's pause this let's open the lens and let's select the back cap here and just hide this and let's close the new object and uh, as you can see this is how our animation should look like so let's pause the video here let's uh, pause the playback here let's go to window timeline and let's select all the keyframes and make them linear and for this one uh, make sure to turn off the 4 because we don't want the 4 in this render we need only to see the background and the lens and uh, we need to let's do a render so we can see how it looks like and uh, we need to export an object buffer for the lens but for almost all the scenes we are going to export object buffer basically the render settings we set up for the very first scene we are going to use them for the rest of the renders uh, even that we are not going to use the object buffer in some scenes well we better render it because uh, if you came up with an idea to put something behind the lens in After Effects 3D space it's good to have object buffer so you can uh, composite it behind the object so that's pretty useful thing um, let's stop the rendering and move on to the next scene so I'm going to pause the video make a copy of this project rename it to scene 6 and uh, reopen it so we can continue okay here we are again uh, I did the copy of the project file but uh, before we move on to our next scene I forgot to change something so first of all we need to select our camera and change this from negative 15 to 15 to change the angle to be different select our tag here align to spline tag and set this to 0 
and what we need to do is to go here and create let's see a disk object and set this to negative 12 set the object um, disk segments uh, keep like uh, them as default and right click Cinema 4D tags and apply external compositing tag and set this to solid and 100 by 100 pixels is ok because we are going to composite in After Effects some 2D graphics here and we need the 3D position to put them in our scene so that's it for this project we are, we are ready with this scene and this is the exact movement that we are going to have in our final render so I'm going to pause the video now and uh, open the next scene project file here we are again and uh, this is the scene 6 project file and right now we can delete this and first of all select the lens go to the coordinates and reset everything to zero go to the window timeline select everything delete all the keyframes because we are not going to need them right now let's zero this let's select our camera zero the rotation of the camera and let's make this 150 frames or 200 frames long because we are going to uh, render out uh, a bit longer sequence and then uh, cut the part we don't need in After Effects so let's go to the first frame of our timeline let's select our lens object here and go to the coordinates of the lens make sure everything is set to zero except the scale which should be one because we want our lens to be exactly in the center of our scene once we are sure uh, the lens is in the center of the scene we need to open the lens find the back cap object and turn it on and let's find the front cap object which is this one here the front cap and turn it off because we are not going uh, to want the front cap in this scene now let's close the lens and select our camera go to the first frame and let's set this to 10 and let's set a keyframe and let's go to frame 150 and let's set this to 0 and set a keyframe also select the let's see the object tab of the camera and drag the lens and put it here because we want the focus object to be the lens in this case and let's uh, change the focal length to 65 millimeters and let's go to the details tab and let's set the end of the map uh, blur to 100 so we have a little bit wider depth of field not so shallow like in our previous scenes and now let's go to our first frame let's enable our camera and we need to animate our circle right now go to the first frame of our timeline select the circle go to the coordinates for the circle and set this to negative 200 and set a keyframe for it move to frame 150 and set this to 720 and set a keyframe go to the first frame of our timeline select the object properties and set the radius to 500 set a keyframe and move to frame 150 and set the radius to 0 and set a keyframe now we need to go to window and open our timeline and let's make the window bigger now we need to select the 
circle and select the position of our circle and we need to make it like almost linear but not exactly so we need to select this part and make it like so and select this part and make it like so and now uh, let's close this and we want to animate our camera to rotate because this animation is looking pretty boring right now so let's go to the first frame and select the align to spline tag, set a keyframe move to frame 150 and let's set this to 50 and set a keyframe and right now let's go to the first frame you can see how the animation looks like and we want to open the timeline again and select the align to spline tag and we want this to start very quickly and slowly slow down something like that and if we play back the animation you can see we start quickly to rotate and slowly slow down and that's it basically that's it for the setting up the last animation of our scene here of our 3D commercial video so basically we are going to render everything as usually we don't need 4 here so make sure you turn it off we are not going to set any 3D objects in After Effects so we don't export any helper layers with external compositing tags so basically that's it for setting up all the animations for this project and that's it for this part which concludes the 3D animation texturing and stuff 3D work in general in Cinema 4D and in the next parts we are going to jump into After Effects and start compositing our lens uh, passes, 3D passes, uh, putting some 2D objects in 3D space in After Effects and make it look cool, some color corrections, goals and stuff like that, depth of field, bores, particles and much more. So hope you like this tutorial and find it useful. Once again I'm Stefan for Tuts Plus and we'll see you in the next tutorial.